Hey and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Manchester United reject approaches for Aaron Wan Bissaka. Manchester United have rejected two offers from Premier League rivals for Aaron Wan Bissaka. According to the Athletics' David Ornstein, United are not keen to let the defender leave with little time left to find a suitable replacement. Manchester United have received approaches from Crystal Palace and West Ham United about the possibility of signing Aaron Wan Bissaka, Ornstein said. It's believed that both advances were turned down as the Old Trafford club do not intend to sell or loan the 24-year-old right back before Thursday's transfer deadline. If one Bissaka was to depart, a replacement would be required to ensure manager Eric Ten Hag has two options in that position. There is little expectation of that happening at this late stage. Early in the window, numerous reports suggested that Ten Hag was keen to move the £50 million man on, who he did not see as central to his plans. Since the season started, Dalot has been the mainstay at right back. Juan Bissaka has only featured once this season, coming on in the dying minutes of United's 2-1 win against Liverpool. He now looks set to remain with the 20-time English champions for at least another season in a deputy role to the preferred Dalot. United only have themselves to blame for their present predicament with regard to Juan Bissaka. Club chiefs had plenty of time to engineer an exit for the 24-year-old, who was not short of suitors but left it late. They have now saddled Ten Hag with a player he has no use for. Manchester United considering championship loan offers for Ahmad Diallo. Ahmad Diallo's chances of earning first-team minutes will have gone down even further following the impending acquisition of Anthony. According to Manchester Evening News, the Ivory Coast International has attracted interest from France, Turkey and Belgium, while a couple of championship clubs are also vying for his signature. League One outfit Nice were credited with an interest but they eventually opted to sign Arsenal misfit Nicolas Pepe. Turkish side Bishkhtas and Belgian club Anderlacht are also in the fray. The publication states that United would ideally like Ama to continue his development in England as the conditions would be similar to the one he would face if were to break into the first team in the future. Two championship clubs, namely Blackpool and Sunderland, have expressed their interest in taking the 20-year-old on loan. United are carefully weighing up which offer would be best suited to him, especially after what happened with the Ivorian last season at Scottish Giants Rangers. The former Atalanta youngster could not make his mark at Rangers, as he ended up making only 13 appearances, scoring three goals in the process. Extra double hopes, Man United don't sell Scott McTominay. Scott McTominay still has plenty to offer to Manchester United and shouldn't be let go this summer. At least, that's the view of former Red Devils midfielder Luke Shadwick responding to recent speculation that has seen McTominay linked with the Newcastle. A recent report from the Daily Mail suggested a Newcastle were keen on the Scotland International and asked about him as part of the talks over Martin Dubravka. McTominay hasn't been every fan's cup of tea in recent times, but Shadwick still feels he's had some really good moments in a Man United shirt and still has more to offer, even if it's not as an automatic starter. He's had some absolutely exceptional games, but it's hard to completely judge him given the weak teams he's had around him at Manchester United, like with Fred. I think he's got a fantastic attitude, but there is a lot of focus on them in an otherwise struggling team, Shadwick told Kaut offside. McTominay's come through the academy. He plays his heart out on the pitch. I'm sure he can force his way into the team at least as a squad player and have an important role to play at United. Sometimes against top, top level opposition, he can be found wanting, but for me, he's still got loads to offer and you want those players with the Man United DNA around the squad. Anthony passes medical, will be a Manchester United player today. Anthony has successfully completed his medical and the signing will be confirmed and announced by Manchester United today. That is according to transfer guru Fabrizio Romano, who earlier tweeted, Anthony has successfully completed his medical and will be unveiled as a new Man United player on Tuesday. United agreed a deal with Ajax after the winger went on strike to push through a move to Old Trafford. At £85 million, Anthony smashes the air device transfer record that was previously held by none other than Frankie de Jong. 
he becomes the third most expensive signing in Manchester United's history. However, there is plenty to suggest that the Brazilian will be a success at Old Trafford. The United Match Day magazine argues that both the statistics and tactical options offered by Anthony could even make him invaluable to Eric Ten Hag in his posting at United. It remains to be seen whether United will still pursue a deal for PSV Eindhoven's Cody Gagbo, who some reporters saw as a backup option for Anthony while others believe could still be an option, especially if Cristiano Ronaldo leaves. Anthony's arrival reportedly signals another loan move for Ahmad Diallo and could even place question marks over the short-term future of Anthony Ilanga, who has seen plenty of first-team minutes. If Gagbo does join him, Ilanga could well go on loan too. Another young winger, Facundo Pellestri, is likely to stay at the club due to injury. Romano also confirmed that the Newcastle goalkeeper Martin Dubravka is set to complete his medical today as well, ahead of a season-long move. More on that story to follow. Martin Dubravka to undergo medical today ahead of Manchester United move. Martin Dubravka will undergo a medical today ahead of his move from Newcastle United to Manchester United. Fabrizio Romano earlier tweeted, Martin Dubravka set to undergo medical test in the next 24 hours to complete his move. The goalkeeper will join the Red Devils on a season-long loan at Eric Ten Hag Lukes to strengthen his cohort between the sticks. David De Gea has struggled to impress in United's first four games, with his disruption and command of his area being called into question. Dubravka stands at 6 feet and 3 inches and, unlike De Gea, is happy to use his height to claim crosses, and also, it would be a stretch to call him a modern ball-playing sweeper-keeper. It's an area in which he has more comfort than the Spaniard. United approached in Newcastle after their pursuit of Eintracht Frankfurt keeper Kevin Trapp was rebuffed by the German. A loan move with an option to buy was agreed, with the clause amounting to £5 million. That option is set to become an obligation should Dubravka play a certain number of matches for the Red Devils. The deal had been held up over disagreement over how many matches that would be. However, yesterday there was a breakthrough on that point. Dubravka himself is keen to make the switch to Old Trafford and pushed for a move with personal terms proving no issue. With his medical due to take place today, the Slovakian should become a Manchester United player shortly. He may even be available for selection against Leicester City on Thursday, although it's unlikely that he will start immediately. Manchester United and Birmingham City in advanced talks for Tahit Chong. Manchester United and Birmingham are locked in negotiations over the transfer of academy graduate Tahit Chong. According to the transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, Chong looks set to finally depart Old Trafford for good, with Birmingham City the most likely destination, the Italian journalist reports. Manchester United and Birmingham City are in advanced talks also for Tahit Chong. Been told could be a permanent transfer, with Birmingham now pushing, negotiations ongoing. Birmingham won Chong after signing Hannibal on loan. Chief sports writer on the Sunday People, Neil Moxley, broke the news that the 22-year-old could be on the move permanently. Hannibal is not the only one incoming from Man United. That's a loan deal, believe the current owners have also sanctioned a permanent deal for Tahith Chong. This would be the Dutchman's second spell at St. Andrews. He spent time in Birmingham in 2021 on a season-long loan, playing 20 games and scoring a solitary goal. A promising start was interrupted by a groin injury that kept him out for 18 games. The 22-year-old still impressed during his time there, and they are now trying to add him into their ranks permanently. There hasn't been any mention of what fee the player would command or if he is inclined to accept such a move. Chong will undoubtedly have the backing of all United supporters as he goes to a club where he will be more assured of first team minutes. Florian Plattenberg says Manchester United still retain an interest in Victor Osimhan. Manchester United remain interested in Napoli striker Victor Osimhan with it just days left in the transfer market. According to the reliable Florian Plattenberg, the Red Devils view the Nigerian as a target in their search for a top-class striker. On Osimhan, Plattenberg says he is definitely a potential top transfer target for Manchester United. Regardless of whether a swap deal with Ronaldo works out or not, the bosses see a lot of quality and development potential in him. Plattenberg also mentions that the 23-year-old is on United's list in the striker position. But... 
He said, no negotiations with him at this stage. This is not the first time the striker's name has popped up, having been linked with a sensational move to Old Trafford. Italian transfer expert Gianluca Di Marzio reported that there is a likelihood of the striker going to England, with Ronaldo going the other way. Important news also on the Cristiano Ronaldo front. In fact, there are hours of waiting to understand if Jorge Mendes, agent of the Portuguese champion, will bring a concrete offer to complete the return of Ronaldo to Italy and the transfer of Ossimhan to Manchester United. Napoli are set to value their striker at 100 million euros plus. While such news may send United supporters into a frenzy, who would welcome the 23-year-old Ossimhan as a replacement for an aging and clearly declining Ronaldo, it's hard to see such a massive deal being done with such little time left before the transfer window shuts. Manchester United target set to stay at his current club. Manchester United target Sergei Milinkovic Savic is set to stay at Lazio despite speculation once again, linking the Serbian with a move away from the Stadio Olimpico. The 27 year old enjoyed one of his best years in a light blue shirt last season by notching 11 goals and 10 assists. In just 37 Serie A games last season, an incredible tally from the center of midfield considering Maurizio Sarri's man didn't finish in the top four. Having been linked with Europe's elite for a number of years, Milinkovic Savic always seems to be on the verge of a move before it happens to break down for reasons more to do with Lazio's control at keeping one of the better players in their recent history and that appear to be the same again this window with his agent, former Chelsea, Flo Mattia Gesman, ruling out a decision to leave. The decision has been made, he will stay at Lazio this summer, he told Corriere dello Sport, as relied by Fabrizio Romano. The move leaves United with Casimero, Scott McTominay, Fred, Donny van de Beek, Christian Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes as their central midfield options, not a bad plethora of midfielders at all, but they could potentially have done with one more star just to liven up a midfield that had turned stagnant for the last two seasons. Ralf Ragnick says it took him only two weeks to determine problems at Manchester United. Former Manchester United interim boss Ralf Ragnick says it only took him a fortnight to know what the issues at the club were. In an interview with a German news outlet Der Standard, the 64-year-old gave a little insight into his time at Old Trafford, as well as what his failed spell taught him as he takes on the Austria national team job, he told Der Standard. It would not have taken Manchester United six months to do that, solve their problems. After just two weeks, it was clear to me where the problems were and what would have to be done to fix them. Ragnik also hinted that he did not get the option nor the time to fix the issues he identified. But the question is whether you have the option of changing these things, he said, alluding to not being given any control during his time at the club. As a coach or sports director, it's about being able to develop things and minimizing the chance factor as much as possible that you develop a team in a direction where you use game control and a certain type of football to create significantly more chances than you allow the opponent to have. The German was asked about Cristiano Ronaldo and whether he would call him up if he were Austrian. To this, Ragnik replied, he's not Austrian. I will be uploading daily Man United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.